Hey everyone, Mike, Newfound Pass, this week's haul video. Uh, this week we got about a, a four to five bag, Ikea bag equivalent to hit our normal, just the two thrift stores. Uh, yeah, and uh, it was okay, not spectacular. Last week was spectacular, turns out. You'll see that in the future of what sold video. Nice week. So yeah, let's, uh, which bag do we want to dig in? Ooh. Let's do this big stuff over here. So first up, we got this Presto 15-inch electric jumbo skillet. This is open box. This is brand new. I opened, it was already open, but I took it out. I made sure all the hardware was there. Um, little tip on these, the, the screws on these and the legs are already in the skillet, so there won't be like a hardware package, but there will be the plastic legs and the knob for the lid cover and the... Uh, the uh, cord, you know, all that stuff was there in the brand new packaging. It was brand new. And this is from the mid 90s. Uh, we got this for. It was $12.99. We got 25% off. Uh, violet and yellow were half off. Uh, that was pink. So, you know, a little less than 10 bucks still. Uh, this will sell about 50 or 60 bucks. We've had really good luck with uh, electric skillets before. Got a kitty in the way. Move, Pops. Move. Mr. Hobbs wanting to help. The Mr. Helper man. Okay, this one is the uh, the question mark of the whole haul. This is a Bosch Tasmo coffee machine. Coffee maker. This is the T65 automatic hot beverage system. And check out the price. 40 bucks. So, you know, we got 25% off, so it's $30, but still... <laughs> the box the seal was broken so i opened the box this thing is new uh the bag was there the in cardboard inserts everything was there to indicate that this was new so um the only comps on this thing were for used ones and used ones sold for, you know for anywhere from 40 to 60 dollars or so so worst comes to worst we can still get our money back and maybe make 10 bucks but I, th I think this is new i'll do more thorough investigation if it's new uh there's no comps but you know my guess is anywhere from 75 up to 125 so uh, i have to do a more thorough investigation if you will but good fine too bad it cost that much you know if it was like you know 20 bucks it'd been a no-brainer but 30 it's got you know got you thinking what's on the edge okay these were cool. I, I just thought it was a cool box. I picked it up. Uh, this was violet, so this was only $4. And then an additional 25% off of that, so $3. Um, and I opened the box up, and I was like, what in the world are those? I thought they were like snooker balls or something, but my wife looked it up, and I think they're called bumper balls. So, uh, yeah, for 3 bucks, these these had sold anywhere from $30 to $40 for a set just like this. This is in the box. You know, I can't... I don't think they're new, but still, they're really cool. So, yeah, bumper balls. Learn something new every day, you know. Okay, so that was cool. Uh, we did pop by Amvets. Uh, it was, it's by uh, Costco where we get our coffee at, so I, we just popped in real quick. It usually doesn't have a lot, but every once in a while I have something, and it had this Tetris Trio. This is vintage software, Tetris software, and this is by Spectrum Holobyte. Um, let me see, uh, pink, blue, and white were half off at Ambits, and this was blue, so this was only $3.50. The box is dirty, but it's brand new, it's sealed. The individual Tetris games out of here were selling for like $30 to $40 each. There was none, no comps on this Tetris trio. Uh, so I don't know exactly what this will bring. This is one of those weird ones that, uh, yeah, it's just... And just don't know but you hope for the best you know list it high and hope for the best so but it's still really cool tetris this one surprised us we were thinking about getting this for ourselves. this uh, pledge fabric sweeper for pet hair apparently they don't make these anymore uh so i just zapped it you know right there i was like eh, you know we get it for ourselves it was only three bucks you know 25 percent off and these things sell for like anywhere from 30 to 50 dollars each for these boxes and my, my wife and I were like it's just amazing you know these gadgets they don't make anymore so yeah keep an eye out for the pledge fabric sweeper for pet hair 
don't know if you can hear them, but my dogs are snoring right by me. They're on their, their blankie and they're snoring. Well, my wife got herself a belt there. That's a, this was also at AmVets, and uh, I hate it that they put this tape on here, but, you know, you can't do anything about it, and I know why they do it, but, uh, let me see, this was green, I don't know. I forget their colors there, but uh, it was three bucks. And this is a uh, Dumbledore's wand by Harry Potter. Harry Potter, Professor Professor Dumbledore's wand. And these sell all the time, new and used for thirty to fifty dollars. And it was complete. It has the uh, map, Hogwarts map, and the wand. So you know, thirty to forty, forty-five dollars or so somewhere. I'll try to easily peel that tape off so it doesn't wreck the the box. But yeah is what it is i got this studio tack this is by bainbridge it's a high tech archival adhesive and initially i thought i was going to get this to do some stuff for myself you know i have some stuff i want to, to mount to foam core and frame and this would help with that and this was only two and change you know it's 25 percent off these things sell for like 25 bucks so i have to sell it you know and it's sealed it's brand new so always check out the office supply section because you never can tell what you'll find okay oh this was really cool you know if you watch john the cincinnati picker and i hope you do he got a a sony cd car in the package and stuff and look what i found this weekend i found the sony like f active S sony sports cd walkman but this thing has been opened and they took the headphones out the headphones are gone but the CD, the, the CD itself is brand new. It still has a little foam insert. Everything in there is new, the CD itself. It has the wrist strap and the, uh, the CD player itself. So I didn't even comp this because it was only two and change. I'm like, yeah, I'll buy that two and thing change. I did get a pair of Sony headphones brand new in the package that I haven't listed yet. I'm probably gonna pair the two together and shoot for the moon. Honestly, I don't know what this even sells for, but I'll definitely research it. But this is one of those things you don't have to. You throw it in the cart and keep on going. Okay. We got this. Oh, we got this for our kitties. Uh, I wanted a lipped dish. Uh, our cats eat wet food and dry food, but they push the wet food off the plate. So I got this little neat dish so they don't push the, plate, the food off the plate. This is for you, Mr. Hobbs. He's walking that way. <laughs> we only paid like a buck for that. It was white. Uh, the color white. Gonna go get that washed up and feed Mr. Hobbs. There we go. This is a, a Le Crusette heart uh, baking dish, and this was only uh, three bucks, twenty-five percent off. This is brand new. Hopefully, I can peel this the price tag off without wrecking the the Le Crusette label underneath it because can do that you can basically can sell this is new these these stickers that uh, this thrift store uses are super sticky like you guys have seen me do the videos with the coffee mugs i have to heat them up to get them off and then they slap it right over the 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 new with the label oh okay yep i think i got it yep cool this is called a medium heart dish, 20 centimeters, satin pink. Uh, comps are all over the place for these, um, but this is easy, easily 25 to 35 dollars. I've sold similar stuff before, so. But of course, I sneezed and now my nose is running. <laughs> I got something on the floor here, and I haven't looked into it that much. And this is a guitar hard case and this is a really really good quality one and it was only seven dollars and fifty cents they had 9.99 on it we got 25 percent off at that price i didn't have to look it up i just saw it was in good condition the latches were great they all worked i uh, don't have the key of course but uh it's a really good condition best case this is a fender and i end up getting 100 bucks for it worst case it's just generic generic and i sell it locally for 40 or 50 bucks so this is a win-win seven dollars and fifty cents and uh more than likely we'll end up selling this locally i think so it was a really good find on the guitar case at that price you can't beat it okay i got this for myself i think this little this is a road wired little satchel 
And I think I'm going to use this when I go out to treasure hunting and metal detecting as a spot for belt loops. And I'm going to put it, attach it to my belts and have, because I'm going to have GoPros with me and the extra batteries and all kinds of stuff. And I got a Pelican case for waterproofing and I can just slap the Pelican case right in here. So yeah, instead of paying retail, got that for three bucks. I like three bucks. Next up, we got this, uh, this AT&T cordless digital answering system, and this is model 5650. And there's literally nothing, none of these on eBay, none of them, of that model, 5650. Got this for under $5. They had them at $5.99, got 25% off. So, uh, and this is definitely used, it is not new. New, this would have been a no-brainer, even though not any listed, but uh, it was so cheap that, um, even used um worst case scenario if it doesn't work you know if i pop a new battery in it doesn't work i can still part it out so uh but it's a low risk you know for something that probably will bring in between 40 and 75 dollars somewhere in that range so depending on working condition check out these cool i didn't get that much clothing so yeah <laughs> these were there last week at our thrift store but they were full price but Violet was half off this week, so they were only, uh, I wasn't willing to take a chance on them at seven bucks, but $3.50, I was like, yeah, I'll take a chance. Because these are old school, like late 70s, early 80s rustlers, which if you're poor like me, you know what rustlers are. <laughs> They're not a very high-end brand, but these are made in the USA. They're brand new with the tags. Yeah, and I think these would be awesome for like a prop studio. And I have sold the prop studios before, so three dollars and fifty cents i mean i hope these will bring you know i'm between 25 and 35 dollars or so so we'll see i got this cool this this is cool you're like trivial pursuit no this isn't trivial pursuit itself this is the uh, storage and carrying case which is pretty cool it's what you put your trivial pursuit in to carry it around all that stuff and this is about three bucks what I'll probably do though is I have a new Trivial Pursuit like stashed that I didn't list. I'm probably going to pair a new Trivial Pursuit with this new case and see what it'll bring. So hopefully about 40 bucks. So yeah, pretty cool little find. Okay, we got a brand new with the tags. Ha ha. SpongeBob SquarePants polo shirt. That was really neat. Brand new with the tags. There you go. And uh, yeah, with the discount under five dollars uh, this was pink so it was not half off but we got 25 percent off but with brandon with the tags and spongebob you can't go wrong it says keep it real on the front and it has him on the back as well so uh no exact comps but i think this is an easy 40 to 50 dollars because it's spongebob these i did not comp at all because i've seen this name brand before and since they were new i just so these are new and this is a Jeff Hamilton NBA jeans where it has all the patches of all the NBA teams like sewn on. It's just really cool. I've ran across this stuff before and it, back when I did comp it, you know, years ago it comped well. So I just grabbed these and kept on going. Um, I did pay up for these if I can find the tag. Yeah, I've uh, got our 25% off. So I paid $15 for these. But $15 and I mean, it's just a guess, but uh, you know, anywhere from 60 to 100 bucks probably on the jeans. You guys let me know. Because <laughs> I did not compliment at all. Okay. I think that's it for the clothes. Yeah, and the rest of the stuff is my, my wife got her a few things that are in this bag. So that's all the clothes. Yeah, so we got these uh, on trash day. I noticed, you know, I live in a decent neighborhood and uh, I noticed a neighbor had a bunch of shoe boxes piled outside for the trash. So I just moseyed on over there and took a peek and I grabbed a couple pair. Most of them weren't very good, but they had these uh, Antonio Bossi made in Italy shoes out there for the trash. So it's free. And they had these Cole Hans out there for the trash, these leather Cole Hans. In pretty good condition kohan country so i mean if it's free if they only bring 10 bucks a pair it's a free you know free 10 bucks so uh that is it guys i believe yeah uh small haul you know what can you do some some weeks you just crush it and some weeks you just 
get a few things. So that's it, guys. So uh, I want to thank all the people that, you know, came and participated in the auction last night. I, it was a resounding success, I think. You know, I think everybody enjoyed themselves. The lots, you know, sold for pretty good money. So thank you to all you guys. Thank our patrons. We actually had two patrons that won stuff uh, at the auction. So that was awesome. They get a benefit from that. So that's great. But uh, I would thank you to all of our old subscribers, new subscribers, and everyone in between. And uh, we will see you uh, in just a couple of days with the What Sold video. So thanks, guys. We'll see you later.